Hello there, folks. This has to be the most stupid cool thing, or, or maybe the coolest stupid thing I've done for a while. I was recently thinking about getting a door controller and they are pretty expensive. So I figured, can I do that myself? And uh, I didn't have a slider potentiometer, but I happen to have a volume knob from a guitar and I have a 3D printer. So I 3D printed this spiral thing. Then I got Arduino Pro Micro that is capable of being detected as a USB device. Yeah, I have the world's noisiest MIDI fader control. So, <laughs> this, is, this is so cool and stupid at the same time. Let's take a look at a little bit of code and everything. So here is the code from the Arduino. It's really simple because you can just get the libraries from the menus here and it just include the MIDI USB library. Basic coding, you know, it's pretty simple, you know, just reading the analog signal from the actual potentiometer. I have a little bit of smoothing here because there's a little bit of jittering with the value. So I'm doing like two thirds of the previous value and then adding one third of the new value. And then I'm doing mapping of the values because the values come from uh, 0 to 1023 and I'm mapping them to 0 and 127. But because I think I wired it the wrong way, uh, it's actually backwards. So I'm actually mapping them uh, also backwards here. So uh, yeah, and if new node is different from the previous one, then we are going to send a MIDI event to channel uh, one with a MIDI event seven, which is the volume. And we are sending the MIDI velocity as the volume value. And that's basically all the magic, you know, that makes this recognized as a USB device that it is a volume control. Then doors can be controlled by MIDI devices usually as well. So I created a MIDI mapping file for Ardor. And here I have channel one, control seven, which is the volume. I'm going to send this root gain for the selected one. And if we take a look at the Ardor documentation, you can see that root gain is the fader control and S followed by a number identifies selected track in the order that they have been selected. So this essentially controls then volume of the selected track in the Ardor. And in Ardor, oh, I of course need to plug it in first. So let's plug it in. And we didn't get electrocuted, which is good. Then let's go edit preferences and here control surfaces, generic MIDI, so protocol settings and here incoming MIDI from the Arduino micro and then the MIDI binding. So I have my mapping and then we just select the master track and control its volume. Beautiful. <laughs> That's all folks. 